This is the very short introduction and key points of modern catastrophism. The goal is simple to deliver the critical points that make this information worth knowing, and then give you the longer version to answer the dozens of questions you'll undoubtedly have at the end. There is evidence that every 10 to 15,000 years, something terrible happens on the Earth. It is our position that, at very least, the sun and magnetic fields of Earth combine to inflict this chaos, and that it may even be driven by galactic forces. But let's begin with this. It is official mainstream science, recently confirmed in the number one geophysics journal on Earth, that magnetic excursions cause extinction. A magnetic excursion is the rapid version of a full magnetic reversal cycle. Now, while the major flips of planetary magnetism occur hundreds of thousands of years apart, these shorter flips and immediate flips back occur over shorter time scales and include the high radiation bombardment of the low field strength state. We actually got into an intellectual tiff with a major journal and a Harvard professor the month before that article in Reviews of Geophysics came out, and that definitive stamp on the danger of these events takes on great importance because of the known past events. Somewhere about 60,000 years ago, there was one of these tremendous events, known as the Vostok event for the Antarctic cores in which it was first identified. Between about 43,000 and 48,000 years ago was a tremendously cataclysmic reversal called the Last Champ event, or the Champ event. We've got evidence of one about 36,000 years ago and about 24,000 years ago. These come from Mono Lake and Lake Mungo initially. And of course, the Gothenburg event is recorded at various places around the globe, new enough to not need a highly protected earthly evidence vault at an age of only about 12,000 years ago. Well, math genius or not, that paints a pretty clear picture of a cycle. And here we are, 12,000 years from the last one. Now this is where things get a little scary, because it is one thing to just be on time for a cataclysm, but Earth's magnetic field is once again moving like hasn't happened in thousands of years, is weakening like hasn't happened in thousands of years. The government has been having to do unscheduled updates to the world magnetic model due to the rapid changes. And yet, many major universities and government officials claim this is not necessarily a scary time and that there's no reason to just assume that this is the next flip. I actually see no reason to assume that it's not, especially given the stakes, recently confirmed again by the world's number one geophysics journal. And here's where the story goes deeper. For all of the evidence that Earth's magnetic field is the sword, our ancestors claim the sun is the hand. Story after story of the destroyer, the black sun, the turning of face of the giver of life into a violent assailant on our world. Recent physical evidence suggests the sun may be a long-period recurrent micronova progenitor. The great flash, the aftermath, and the shift in the solar system leading up to it have left behind evidence not only in story, but in rock, ice, mud, and bone. From professors to an attempted CIA cover-up to Einstein to the best independent researchers alive today, Cosmic Disaster, CIA classified as a full examination of the history, discovery, trickery, rediscovery, and soon-to-repeat cyclical catastrophe of Earth. We can finally put the entire puzzle together now in the information age, and many believe our only hope is that it rose just before the fall. Please join us for a very scary and very real story. And be safe, everyone.